Hello and welcome. So today, as you can see within front of me, I have a bunch of components of a computer. So we're going to do a little bit of show and tell. Today I'm actually going to be talking about expansion slots. So I brought in some toys to show and help explain and, and everything for you today. But before we get into looking at all these fun devices and everything, let's do a little bit um, of looking at like what they are and a little explanation about them. So let's jump into the slides. So we're going to be looking at expansion slots and cards. And so the expansion slots um, provide you the ability to upgrade components to your system. And the cards are that upgrade that you're looking for. So if you want a better video card, you know, or better sound card, you know, you're going to be using that to upgrade your system and you're going to be plugging that into your expansion slot. So as I said, you know, graphics cards are one, sound cards, even network cards, and you know, anything, anything you can think of, you can pretty much upgrade on your system if you wish. And you know, one of the things that we're familiar with that you always hear about is, you know, this plug and play thing. But what is this plug and play thing? Well, plug and play, it's actually pretty cool. It's made our lives a lot easier, um, you know, as well. So let's jump into the slides and kind of look at plug and play a little bit. So plug and play basically works right out of the box. As, it, as the name says, you know, you plug the device in and you can play. It works right away. So that's one of the great things about plug and play. And because of this, you don't need to install any drivers. Though I will say with plug and play, it's great because of, you know, you can just plug things in and it'll work right out of the box. But let's say you go and you buy a nice new video card, you know, you install it. It's probably gonna be plug and play. But, you know, it's a generic device driver that you're using when you do a plug and play. You're probably not going to get the best performance or all the capabilities out of your card, that new graphics card that you installed. So what I would recommend is going to the manufacturer's website. You know, if you don't know what it is, just do a quick search on the internet for it. You'll find it. And then from there, go and find, you know, your, the graphics card that you purchased or the, you know, the card that you're upgrading that you just installed your new hardware, find that on the manufacturer's website and download the latest drivers for it. You know, plug and play works, it makes things easier for us, but you know, if you're spending a lot of money on a great graphics card to play video games with, you're gonna make sure you get your optimal performance. So, you know, take that extra couple minutes, go and get the, you know, latest drivers and install them and you'll, trust me, you'll be a lot happier that, you know, you're getting that extra performance out of it. So what type of expansion um, capabilities do we have? What types of expansion slots do we have? Well, let's jump back into the slides and see. So types of expansion slot, there's, it's a pretty big list. So some of them you'll probably be familiar with, some of them you won't be. So an older one is ISA, um, you have PCI, PCI-X, PCI-E, um, PCMCIA, which is a little bit of a tongue twister if you try, try to say it quick. And as well, you have Firewire, AGP, and even USB. So some of these you're probably familiar with. You probably, you know, heard of AGP, USB, maybe Firewire, probably, you know, the three PCIs up there. You know, you probably heard about them, but you probably don't know too much about them. So that's where, um, you know, I'm going to get into this show and tell. So you kind of see a little bit more. Um, you know, about what they look like and how they work and everything. So to start with, I actually have two system boards here. So I'm going to start with this one, um, you know, and we'll look at it. So it's kind of a little big. And as you, you know, as we've talked about in, you know, previous sessions, we've talked about the CPU and actually underneath here, this is where your CPU is. This is actually a, we call this a heat sink. This actually helps remove the heat off of your CPU because it gets really, really hot. And I know um, earlier that Blanca talked about um, memory. And so here you actually have memory slots. So this is where you can install your memory and upgrade your memory if you wish. But what I'm looking at and what we're talking about now is expansion slots. And you can see that they are right, um, right here. And this one kind of blends in with the, uh, you know, it's green on green. So I apologize. It kind of blends in. But this is actually an AGP um, expansion slot, and you can use that to upgrade your graphics card. So it's specific to graphics cards. 
And then you have your PCI, which are these white ones right here. And you can pretty much use these to install, you know, anything that you really want. Um, you know, there's a lot of different capabilities from video cards to sound cards to networking cards to even, you know, if you want to add more USB expansion slots, you can get cards that do that. You know, there's a lot of different options that you can get with PCI. So keep that in mind. And I, the reason I have the other motherboard with me, the other system board with me as well, is that um, it offers a little bit of different capabilities. And as well, I removed the heat sink so we can actually look and see the actual CPU. So here's the actual CPU. And you know, they are easy to remove if you want. Um, so, well, this one's a little stuck. It's a little old, so we'll just leave it on. Uh, but you can see the CPU here. A lot of times you just pull this up and it will pop off. And you can see that. And as well, this one, the memory slots are over here. And if you recall, the other motherboard had four. This one only has two. So different system boards have different capabilities. And as well, our expansion slots for this are down here. And notice, these two are a little bit different. You know, we have our PCI here. And here we have this tiny little one, and this is your um, PCI, a PCI um, E and you know one X, and this is a PCI E sixteen X expansion slots. So you know they are a little different, and they do provide capabilities. Um, and part of the reason that you know they're newer and everything, they also have a faster um, bus speed. And I believe William will be talking to you about what bus speed is and everything. So you know, stay tuned for that. So now let's kind of look at some of the cards that I brought in and you can see some of the different capabilities that we have. And you know, I'll also show you, give you a quick demonstration about plugging them in and everything. You can see it's not, it's not too bad. So to start with, um, I'm gonna grab this guy right here. And so if we look at this one, you know, this is actually a um, video card. And so this will plug into a um, AGP slot. And if we look at this side, you can see it actually has, um, it's for DVI, and you can actually hook up multiple monitors to it. Uh, this is DVI and this is VGA, sorry. Um, so you can actually hook up multiple monitors to it if you wished. And it's actually, you know, as I said, they're pretty easy to plug in. So I'll grab the, uh, the other motherboard and we'll see if we can quickly do this. So you can see, quickly plugs in and, you know, easy to, to remove as well, you just um, you know pull it out, and there's a little stop there. So you just pull it out, easy to remove. So you know if you want to upgrade your you know your video card, it's not too bad. It's pretty easy to do. So let me put that back down. So another one I have. It's just another video card, and this is the uh, um, DVI one that I had. So I got it mixed up. And you can see this one's a little different as well because, you know, this one has a fan on it. So, and this is AGP as well. I just wanted to show you the differences, you know, with video cards and how they look. So that's the, the main reason why I brought down, you know, multiple video cards. And as well, um, for networking, we can get, here's a networking card. Probably won't really use this one too much. This is actually a, uh, an, for ATM. So it's uh, not really used anymore, not something you would have at home. But the reason I brought this one is this one's actually a PCI card. So you can see um, right here, you know, this is where it would plug into your motherboard, your system board. And, you know, it's PCI. It's pretty quick and easy as well. And I can, you know, demonstrate that again. definitely a little easier when it's mounted into a case. So you can see, quick and easy to plug in, and then you know you can have a, another type of networking card in your computer if you wish. And then finally, um, for PCI, I have this one. This one's actually a pretty cool card. You're probably not too familiar with one of these, but this card will actually let you watch TV on your computer. So you can just plug in your you know, this is your coax connection, which, you know, you can use from home and plug your uh, cable in and you would be able to watch TV on your computer. And this is just a, a PCI card that you can get and plug into your computer and be able to watch. And, you know, you can actually set up your computer to be a, uh, 
like a DVR for you even with this type of a card. So that's pretty cool. And then next we're going to look at a PCI um, E1. Um, and so this one's a little different because this is actually for wireless. So here we have, um, you know, this is the card that we'll plug in right here. And then this guy is your antenna, which, you know, your external antenna. And what's cool about this card actually is, so we have, this plugs into our system board, but this is also a card here. And you can kind of see here that we plug in this card into here. So I can actually quickly remove it. So you can see it is two, it's a card within a card. So kind of cool. And usually this type of a card is what your wireless adapter you have within your laptop. You would see one similar to this within your laptop. So it's pretty, pretty small. And then next, what we're going to look at is some expansion that you have within laptops. So as I said, PCMCIA, you know, the tongue twister is this guy. And this is actually a, um, a wireless card. And you see it's kind of thin. And this is the end you would plug in. It, you would just have a slot on your laptop and you would just plug it in and it would give you wireless. Nowadays, we're definitely spoiled where, you know, we have wireless um, built into our laptops and everything. And just for, you know, example purposes, here's another one, um, different capabilities where this one in this, this guy right here, the Proxim, works with um, A, B, and G networks. And this guy only works with um, B networks. And then here is another type of um, expansion card we have for laptops. And not really used. I haven't really seen much of this. And you know, this is your um, Express card. And just a little different as well, a lot smaller. And then what we're all familiar with, and that is also a wireless card as well. And then finally, what we're all familiar with is our trusty, faithful USB. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed seeing a lot of the different demos and seeing different cards and everything. So hopefully you gained a little bit of knowledge about expansion slots and upgrading your system. So thanks, and we'll see you next time.